Hello, my fam. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Who says that? I don't remember. It is Perez Hilton. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on, buy my merch at buypopstuff.com or in the merch shelf below. I'm gonna be talking about so much today. I will get to Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, but I just wanna start off by saying, what a day. Today is a day. I wasn't feeling great before making this video, so I decided maybe I should eat. So I had some cauliflower, real exciting. That didn't help much. Then I put on some of the La Mer that Whitney Mixon gave me, and that helped a little bit. Then I put on my Spice Girls t-shirt, Spice Up Your Life, <laughs> that helped also. Then I started drinking some of my, I should get, I should get paid from Airborne. I started drinking some of my Airborne with ice cubes. That helped a little as well. And now, 60 seconds ago, I turned my camera on and I feel much better. Call me what you want, but you help me. And before this, I also watched the trailer for Shane Dawson's multi-part new series on YouTube about Jeffree Star which at first, before the trailer came out, I thought it was gonna be about the beauty industry, and it is, but the focus is on Jeffree Star. The trailer is called The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. That's the name of the series. I watched it, and first of all, listen, I like to give good feedback. It was both a good trailer and a bad trailer in that Shane Dawson is so big on YouTube that just dropping this mediocre trailer will get him a lot of attention. It was good in that it didn't give much away, but it was also bad in that it was just a bad trailer. Mediocre, mediocre to bad. Especially because it left me feeling like, ugh, reductive, been there, done that. Shane already did a multi-part series on Jeffree Star. Why is he doing this again? The only logical reason that I could come up with is, and I've had this thought for a while now, I think that there is something here. Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are in business together. I don't know what their arrangement or arrangements look like, but Shane and Jeffree are making each other money. And I think it's more than just a handshake deal. I think that there is something on paper that they're partners in this and that and the other. Otherwise, why would Shane go back to the same well? You know, people love when Shane lets them see somebody in a different light. He did that already for many people with Jeffree Star. You know, I think the Eugenia Cooney one was effective, not his best work. Even the Tana, Mo to me, I still think that TanaCon one was the best one. And that kind of was the beginning of everything because that was really organic and it felt authentic. And everybody on YouTube, not everybody. Well, there is a seismic difference in platforms. Instagram is all about a curated, lifestyle and for the most part fake and I love YouTube because I think for the most part not always there is more realness on YouTube and this new series just doesn't seem real to me it seems like a business move strategic calculated for money and ulterior reasons but yeah I mean we're gonna get drama get in 2.0 um, honestly, the, the moment I loved the most from Shane's trailer was watching him propose to his now fiance, Rylan. I'm, I'm more interested in a Shane on Shane. The, the rise and rise of Shane or Shane and friends, you know? Cause it's not like he's off camera in this Jeffrey series. He's on camera with him. It's not like he's become a total introvert and doesn't want to be filmed. Uh,
Got a lot on my mind. Let's keep it moving. On to Black China now. <laughs> Wait. I want to I want to find a segue because I'll use the clip. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Enough of the Shane Dawson and Jeffrey Star drama. On to some ridiculousness with Black China. Rob Kardashian's baby mama has done two things that have moved me like my bowels when I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> First, she went out to eat with her new boy toy who proceeded to place his mouth on her toes in a restaurant. <laughs> And then she flaked on my friends at the reel. She was supposed to be a guest on the reel and did not show up and did not give any good reason. Let me tell you something, Black China. In two years time or less, when people stop booking you, you're gonna regret the unprofessional ways that you behaved. I'm trying to think. There were a few times in the past, like when I was unprofessional, the one most glaring incident was when I showed up, there was a miscommunication and I was given the wrong time at a local news station and I showed up really early after I was told that was, or I thought that was the time I was supposed to show up at and then I was like, I'm not on for another hour and a half. Can I please go on now? And then there was like a little drama because I was not happy having to wait an hour and a half. But you know what? It was, it was my mistake. I should not have responded that way. Was it my mistake? I think it was my mistake. I don't know, whatever. I regret that. I still regret that. I forget what, what TV station that was. But that's the only incident really that pops to mind of me being unprofessional. But I still showed up, um, but I was a diva. And I regret that. Was it Sam Rubin? I don't remember. I apologize. You know what? I feel like apologizing so much lately. I want to apologize to them. And um, hopefully, Black China apologizes to Jeannie and Tamara and Lonnie and Adrian and the producers and everybody at The Real. And actually, if any of the ladies from The Real are watching, book your boy Perez. Zika Zika. Ah, it's been too long since I've been on. Let's make it happen, ladies. And also, Black China should apologize to everybody for having us see those toe photos. Because you know you went and you looked at them. I did. Uh, all right. Uh, on to happier news. Congratulations to Jenna Duan. The ex of Channing Tatum is pregnant with her boyfriend of less than a year, a year. I don't know. How long have they been dating? When, let me see if I could. Jenna Duan started dating Steve Kazee. Let's see timeline. Here we go, a timeline. Okay. Okay, they started dating exactly a year ago. So congratulations. 12 months later, she's pregnant. And I think, well, you know, I think maybe after eight months of dating somebody, you know, but let's get real. Jenna Dewan is turning 39 years old in December. She loves being a mom. She wanted to have a second kid. She had a second kid. She also could have frozen her eggs. She also didn't want to be a really old mom. Not that, hello, I'm 41 and three quarters. Not that that's really old, but it's a happy thing, okay? I just saw a lot of chatter being like, oh, they've known each other not that long. Blah, blah, blah. Also, a lot of parenting issues today. Will and Jada Pinkett Smith 
staged an intervention for their son, Jaden, after he changed up his diet. He decided to go vegetarian and vegan, but didn't last long as a vegan, went vegetarian and lost a lot of weight. He claims he would only eat maybe one or two meals a day. How does that happen? As I told you at the beginning of this video, I ate some cauliflower. Do I have? Uh, oh yeah, whatevs. <laughs> I ate some cauliflower right before this. My brain is constantly telling me to eat. Thankfully, I've reprogrammed my brain to just eat healthy things almost always now. But I'm always hungry. <laughs> I can't just like, oops, forget to eat. But they claim, Will and Jada, that their son's skin was gray. He had dark circles under his eyes. Are we sure there wasn't something else going on? You know, he is friends with a certain group of people, a circle. But maybe it was just the vegetarian lifestyle. And thankfully he has started eating more and all is good. Also, a lot of people started coming for Kim Zolciak, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, after she shared a photo on her Instagram. No, I don't like that. One hand is fine. This, that's not good body language. <laughs> this is too, mm, that's too that, that's not me. This is, this is more me. This is, yeah, this, this is me. I love sharing how my brain is working with you all in the moment. Kim Zolciak, Real Houses of Atlanta star, shared a photo of her five-year-old daughter, seemingly done up. Hair done, makeup did. And a lot of people were criticizing her for that. To those people, I say, look at her older daughters. They're her clones. From the hair to the lips. That doesn't just happen. That's made. And Kim Zolciak made them. And she's making the five-year-old as well. So be it, you know? I don't let my daughters play with makeup. I, and you know this, you know this, you know me, I've said it before. I don't even let my daughters wear bikinis. One pieces. Actually, I just bought Mia a new one piece that looks like a mermaid tail, but one piece mermaid skin. She loves it for swim class. I don't think this is anything to call child protective services over. Every parent, parents as they see fit. You do you, Kim Zolciak, you do you. And you, Amy Maldonado, did me recently. And so did you, Tara Jenkins. And by recently, I mean yesterday. Thank you guys for super chatting me. Also, thank you, Shauna Wallace and Jaina Glover. Oh my gosh. I have to move this there. Okay. Thank you, Jaina Glover, Amy Maldonado, Shauna Wallace, and Tara Jenkins. If you don't know what super chatting means, it means on YouTube during the live video premiere, you hit the dollar icon in the chat area and you can give me a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars if you're a baller. <laughs> um, I am, I am a charity. <laughs> Case. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right, more parenting news. Southern Charm star Catherine Dennis has made some damning allegations against her baby daddy, ex and fellow co ex co-star of the Bravo show, which I cannot link to because hashtag YouTube. And I don't even need to get into the allegations. I'll just say this woman herself, Catherine Dennis, seems like a mess. The guy, Thomas Ravenel, seems like a mess. Can the grandparents take the kids? It's sad. 
it's sad when you know the, the the formative years are the formative years for a reason and it sucks when the cards are stacked against a kid because that's when you're programmed thankfully like the the worst things that happened to me programming wise at a young age was i was not taught a good relationship with food or what being healthy meant um and the worst thing my kids will see is me working too hard but there's way worse things than that right <laughs> in more parenting news you know it's, it's social media and the internet people are gonna share their opinion and that's fine that's what I do as well but I'm here to shine a light on people acting foolish just because something is not for you doesn't mean it's wrong I don't think putting makeup on Kim Zolciak's five-year-old daughter is wrong. I think it's not for me. You know, I see those beauty pageant girls walk in the beauty, like Jean Bonnet Ramsey or Honey Boo Boo used to be a beauty pageant girl or what's the other one? Eden Wood. Do you guys remember Eden Wood? So, you know, or like, you know, like, here's the perfect way of thinking of it. Some older people may think that gay marriage, same-sex marriage, is not in keeping with their religion, but hopefully they may be aware enough to say, well, they shouldn't be denied the right. I may not agree with it, but it doesn't mean it's wrong. Does that make sense? Anyways, Coco Austin, the wife of actor and rapper Ice T, has been breastfeeding her daughter since she was born, and her daughter is four years old now. And she shared about this experience and saying that she still loves the time that she gets to spend bonding with her daughter twice a day, breastfeeding her at four. I don't know. I mean, I understand that's why you're doing it. I would... You know, if I was a woman, well, there's also just the attachment. Maybe you're making your daughter too attached. I would think, I haven't even really thought it through because I'm clearly not a woman. Um, you know, all of my kids had breast milk shipped to us and they drank it for months at the beginning of their lives. So there's a lot of great value in that. But, at, you know, at four, it's a choice and Criticize it if you want, but I, I'm not going to criticize it. All right, on to some film news. This is, wow, 2019 is shaping up to be quite the year. Adam Sandler is getting a lot of Oscar buzz for his new film, Uncut Gems. If you haven't checked out the trailer, I will put the link down below so that you could see it. I watched it and, I don't know, I... I didn't think he was bad, but I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to watch the whole thing. I wasn't blown away. And actually, Adam Sandler is also somebody that I want to apologize to. In addition to Sam Rubin and KTLA or whoever, whatever station that was that I was And Adam Sandler knows why I would want to apologize to him. I hope, I and mean, he knows. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ugh. Now that sounds insincere. I am so sorry, I'm so sorry. I actually don't, I am so regretful that I don't even wanna allow myself to, I, like I don't even wanna look in the camera right now to, to apologize. I am sorry to Adam Sandler. Okay. But, you know, it's awesome that he's getting the Oscar buzz. That is awesome. Okay. In other wacky film news, this new mov movie, The Joker, or just Joker, 
starring Joaquin Phoenix is getting a lot of negative buzz as well as critical acclaim because the film is very dark and features Joaquin Phoenix's character as the Joker getting revenge and taking out a lot of people, if you know what I mean. So the families of the victims of the Aurora incident, where somebody went into a theater and did that awfulness during a screening of The Dark Knight back in 2012, I believe, they, some of them wrote a letter to Warner Brothers upset about the film and I love that these families are doing their part and trying to make the world a safer place. But I don't think, I don't think that films are the problem. I don't, I don't think video games are the problem. There were awful revenge movies and vigilante movies and just, violent films in the 80s. I remember, I used to watch them. Like, oh God, what was that? Like Charles Bronson starred in so many of them or Sylvester Stallone starred in them or those angel movies. Does anybody remember the angel movies about that high school student by day and lady of the night by night? I cannot believe I watched those movies in the 80s. I, wa I, I was... 10 years old in 1988. It was a different world back then. My parents would just let me watch whatever I wanted. And I turned out okay. <laughs> if I edited videos, I would have made a little bit about that. I turned out okay. <laughs> that would have been a bit. But you can, <laughs> I'm, I'm narrating it for you guys now. You, you saw the bit play out. <laughs> Um, you know, the, the mass situation that's going on in America, that didn't start until the 90s. And if anything, I think the internet is more to blame. The internet, the internet and social media, not necessarily film and TV. Uh, Let's keep it bright and light. Speaking of film actors, from Joaquin Phoenix to Jennifer Lawrence, I must preface it just so that I'm transparent because I like to be transparent with you guys. I am not a J-Law fan. There you go. I hurt, I hurt, I hurt, I said it. Um, and I'm not a fan of people making money. This just caught me off guard because A, Jennifer Lawrence is so rich. For many years, she was the highest paid actress. Now it's Scarlett Johansson. Um, she partnered with Amazon to share her Amazon wedding registry and make that public. Does she need the money that badly? Like, that just confused me. Like, I'm all for a paycheck, but when you're that caliber of talent, I would have thought she would have done something like launch her own makeup line with Amazon. That seems to make more sense than sharing your wedding registry. That's like a fancy way of doing affiliate links or something. Like, oh, it just seemed... Like a big miss. Um, I, you know what? I'm gonna be a person of my word. I wrote down something about Aaron Carter, but I'm not gonna talk about it because I said I wouldn't and let us not give him attention. Lizzo, unfortunately, oh, not Lizzo. Well, yes, Lizzo. Um, which order? Okay, I'll talk about it. Uh, I'll mention it briefly. Lizzo, unfortunately, is getting some negative headlines. I did not know this. There is drama with her and her Postmates driver. 
she accused her Postmates driver of stealing her food. Hello? Mia? Mia? Lizzo accused her Postmates driver of stealing her food and even shared a photo of the woman. Come here. Hi. How are you? I love you. I miss you. How was school? Good. Sit up. Oh, I just want to hug you for a bit. Oh, okay. Um, she, uh, you're so beautiful. She shared the photo. That was next level, I think. I think that was very inappropriate. Um, but she has apologized. Lizzo has. However, my little funny. You're funny. You're, you're my little mini. No, you're not funny. You're my little mini. No, no. Um, was it? The woman, though, you're my little mini mouse. Uh -uh. The woman, Tiffany, now claims she's afraid to go to work and leave the house. Mm -mm. Yeah, that seems sketchy. She wants money. She wants some of that Lizzo money. All right, speaking of money, ha, I gotta give a thank you to N. Galvis. Thank you, N. Galvis. <laughs> Wendy and Jordan Zapata. Gracias, Wendy and Jordan Zapata. They asked where they can get my book, The Boy with Pink Hair. I just burped. Here, come around. So we, oh, you can sit there. Hey, look at the baby. <laughs> Look at that baby, Dad. The boy with pink hair is out of print, but I think some yeah, copies yeah. are still available on Amazon. Hey, and it, she asked if I would sign it for her. Absolutely. If you want to mail me the book, you can send it to me at 8506 West 3rd Street, number 101, Los Angeles, California, 90048. How was school? Good. Good? <laughs> and? Oh, yeah, look at it, baby. I see. And how was piano class? I'm good. Good. He's gotten so good, you guys. You've become a piano ma maestro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. A Miley Soccer, Miley Cyrus Stalker was just arrested after threatening to get her pregnant and after sending her really scary tweets for about a year. He tried to come in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, what else? <laughs> All right. Sending positive vibes to Cupcake. She's a singer, a rapper. You guys, most of you probably don't know who Cupcake is, but I do. I, I know Cupcake. You know the rapper of Cupcake? Yes. You know what a rapper is? Yes. What's a rapper? I don't know. <laughs> um, and a rapper is like tape. No, a rapper is also a musician who... Yes. Who doesn't sing? Well, some of them do sing, yeah. but sings, but speaks mainly. What is speaking? Like, um, what rap song? Um, yeah, walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Um, <laughs> uh, why am I blanking now? What's another? Um, walk through the valley of the valley of the death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways, Cupcake has announced her retirement from music and she's quit social media and she says oh, she's a gambling addict and yummy is cupcake. pulling her music from streaming, doesn't want it up there anymore. Oh, I need to go in. 
Go. Okay, go inside. Go do the bug. Okay, go inside. You can go inside. She says she struggled a lot this year with her mental health. And I'm just sending her positive vibes. All the positive vibes to Cupcake. Positive vibes also to Greta, Thun Greta Thunberg. She is that 16 year old climate change activist whom a lot of people have been mocking recently. Even that person in the White House whom I've, you know, not wanted to talk about in videos because, but this girl, A is 16 and B has Asperger's, which is on the autism spectrum. I love that this girl, listen, I may not agree with everything she does. Like she asked her mom to give up her international opera singing career so that she wouldn't have to fly places. I think you can do your part and still, you know, fly. Other people are on the, on the flight too. And that's just sad to limit your access to the world. I don't know. Hopefully, eventually, planes will get greener and better for the environment. But it sucks that these people are picking on her from Fox News people to uh, the 16 year old girl. Uh, all right, on to lighter news. Mike, the situation Sorrentino is out of jail and says that he has a newfound appreciation for his freedom and he is a changed man this video is too long so i'm not even going to go any more into it click the link below to check out what he has to say and finally apb which means all points bulletin lenny kravitz <laughs> took to social media to share that he lost a very sentimental pair of sunglasses. They are vintage and belonged to a family member. He is hoping to set to get them back. He even created an email address, kravitzglasses at gmail.com. Hopefully he gets them back. Maybe they were his mother's or something. I'm just hearing music in my head. It's nice to hear the water flowing. Actually, that'll be a good way to wish you guys all of the love. I do love this. Oh, and the sun feels so good right now. Thank you, my fram. Thank you to everybody who has bought merch buypopstuff.com buypopstuff.com if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button turn your notifications on get a personalized video greeting from me on starsona at starsona.com slash perez hilton sign up for my newsletter at pereznewsletter.com listen to my podcast i feel so calm right now Listen to my podcast, the Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at perezpodcast.com. Follow me and the website across social media at Perez Hilton and the Perez Hilton. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, TikTok, readperezhilton.com every day throughout the day. And you know what? The video is not over yet. Say hi to my friend. Hi, friend. We love you. We love you. Mwah.